Hello everybody, I am back today um, with a new sewing machine. Good thing for those warranties. Um, I don't know, I had to get a new sewing machine. I don't know what was wrong with the other one. It was just not working. It, I did everything I could possibly to get it to work and it's just not working out for me. So I had to get a new one <clears throat> on warranty of course. So. They just exchanged it for the same one of the same model. I had gotten it less than 90 days ago. I don't know what was wrong with it. I might try and get a new brand when I get to get a new brand. Anyway, so we're back to <laughs> sewing the signatures for... I'm going to work on this journal afterwards. I already sewed on the lace. <clears throat> so we'll sew on the signature later. Um, This I need to... We did the first signature. Um, I went ahead last night and sewed the rest of the signature here. It's kind of a mess because I did it one time and then I noticed there was no freaking bobbin. <laughs> then I did it a second time and it worked out just fine. So we got that done. That's good. And um, yeah, I what I forgot though was that I wanted to add tabs to some things. So I'm going to have to go back and do that now. Like, so this is the cover, of the book cover, anyways. And then I'm working with the inside cover. Uh, good morning, Carrie Ann. I'm working with the inside cover, and I want to add some tabs to some pages like this right here, where it has no um, decor at the very edge. Let me get my sewing machine on. Hi, Kelly. Welcome. So let's get this. This is not going to be easy. <laughs> Let me put this right here. Maybe that'll help. I got this like box over here. Help support the cover. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I should skip out on the tabs, but I really don't want to. <laughs> I really don't want to. I want the tabs on here. I'm trying to make them kind of low on here. Not too high. Okay, and then we're going to use a zigzag here. And I use a pretty wide zigzag to get these tabs done. Okay. This is hard. <laughs> But that's what you get when you mess it up. You gotta do it. I'll leave the tab strings a little bit longer. Let's see, one on here would be cute. And these tabs, I just made them. Oh, these are different. <clears throat> made them by sewing two pieces of scrap paper together. They are four inches long, and then I fold them in half, and then I cut them to different sizes. So those are my tabs from scraps, and they work pretty good. As good as anything else. <laughs> Put the tab on here. This cactus over here, pretty cactus. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. It was so stressful with that sewing machine. I did everything I could. <laughs> I really tried. <laughs> it's just, it just was not working. Like I said, it was making a funny sound before I ever even, like, opened it. Which is why I thought I needed to open it to clean it up. It wasn't so bad. Hi, Lynn. And hi, Joy. Good morning. It's easy to use. I can't tell you that it's the best quality sewing machine. <laughs> so get a warranty. <laughs> get a warranty. That's, I, I suggest that. <laughs> but other, it, they're good about getting me a new one every time it breaks. <laughs> and it is, um... 
Not very expensive, so that was a plus about it. But, um, yeah. And they got me some Flonase, but that was an hour ago, and as you can see, I'm still sneezing. <laughs> Maybe I gotta get used to it. Let's see. Let's do this tab right here. I forgot to include these <laughs> when I made the signature. I'm not going to forget the next time. With my next signature, I'm going to do it right now. <laughs> That's the one thing I didn't do, I forgot to do. It's like I really want to add them. I'm going to leave the strings a little bit long on the tabs. Crazy, I know. Just a little bit, nothing too crazy. Hi, Kate. Hello, hello. Happy to have a new sewing machine. Just going through the pages, trying to decide where the tabs are going to go. Maybe I can sew the tab this way right here, maybe. I can only try, I can only try. Get another sponge. Okay, it'll be a little one. Oof. This is hard. It's pretty difficult. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work. So we'll put this here then. Use your machine to sew into hardcover spine. No. This, okay, so. This is the hardcover book. It's a book that is covered in fabric. This is an extra piece of fabric that I glued on top, so I didn't sew on that. And then this, this here is fabric on paper basically. So I use fabric, heat and bond, and paper. And this I am going to glue, and this is what I sew the signature on. So the signature is on this fabric paper. I sewed on it, I sewed it on. And then I'm gonna glue that onto the cover. I got a new machine, April. Yes. <laughs> so that that's how this is going to work out. That's how we're going to get that onto the book. Okay. Right? Yes. <laughs> get a warranty. <laughs> I am. I try, Stephanie. I try. <laughs> Was it covered under the machine's warranty? This one, yes. You know what happened to me, April, though? Okay. This is like the third machine I buy. Literally, I have two of them sitting around the house. <laughs> you gotta throw them away. I don't know. So, the first one, uh, the first one I ever got, I returned it because, I don't know. I don't know if I, I don't think I did something. But, when I tried to go through the warranty, it was the one before this model. And when I tried to go through the warranty, um, they told me that it was like, it was past the 90 days. And they said that I had to call brother 
and brother said that I had to go get it checked out by a repair person to see if they could repair it under warranty because Walmart didn't want to give me a new one because it, they didn't have that model in store anymore. And it had been past the 90 days and they said, talk to brother. Brother said, go get it repaired. Uh, go get it repaired. Uh, go get it checked out by this authorized dealer. I'm like, okay. So I go to the authorized dealer and the dealer, the person says um, that it's something that I did and that it's not covered under warranty. Like he opened this up, he did some stuff and he's like, yeah, that's something that it looks like something that the user did. I'm like, what? Like I never opened it up. Like, what are you talking about? And like what I really should have done is gone back to Walmart. Hello, love to quilt. I was never, I was told never to sew paper on a good sewing machine. This is a very, this is $139. It's not like a very good sewing machine. And I don't sew clothes. So anyways, so the dealers, so that's what the dealer said. And then I never really bothered to call brother back. I just bought a new sewing machine. <laughs> and that new sewing machine, I didn't buy a warranty with it. So when that one broke, I'm like, dang it. So then I bought this one. <laughs> uh, and then that one broke. <laughs> and then I <laughs> I got this one. This one I got a warranty for it. I'm actually going to fight for this one when it breaks, if it breaks. Because honestly, I count on it breaking. I don't know. They always break. There's always something on it I can't fix. The last machine that I didn't buy a warranty for, I um, I actually like opened it up and I touched something and something fell. And I haven't been able to find a sewing machine repair person that doesn't cost me the same price as a sewing machine. I don't know. What happened to them? I guess I did. I don't know. I happened to them. <laughs> That's what happened. I don't know. <laughs> A lot of things happen to different ones. I don't know. I need to go find somebody who could do repairs on them for like 40 bucks or something. Because they want to charge me like over $100 and that doesn't make any sense. I'm like, why is it not sewing? Because the bobbin is out. All right. One second. Let me get another little bobbin. Okay. Make sure we're going the right way, right? <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be... Yeah, this way. I guess I never really noticed which way that's supposed to go. <laughs> How much was that machine, Dana? I wonder. Aren't they cute? They look like little aliens. It looks like a little alien head to me. I don't know why. Little alien antennas. <laughs> Well, I need to, I'm going to be more on it. I was just like, I don't know. I need a sewing machine. Like I just need, need a sewing machine. So I just got a sewing machine. <laughs> I'm terrible. But like I said, this time I got the warranty. I got the receipt. I'm going to be on it. I still have the warranty for the last one. I technically could still call them. It's still valid until September. Ooh, I cut that one too short. Still valid. Okay, let me get these tabs on here. Then I'd have two of them. <laughs> Craziness. Okay, over here. 
and pretty. Okay. Okay, we're almost done with the tracks. Sorry, last minute decision. Do a tab on this one, and then we'll get into sewing the signature. And then sewing the next one, and then the next book. And then it never ends. I'm just kidding. This is fun. <laughs> but if it's one part that stresses me out, I'll tell you the truth. It is sewing in the signature, and it never matters what the method is. Sewing in the signature always, is always the most stressful part. It really is. <laughs> Okay, so, <sighs> well, actually, I have to do the tabs on my next signature, <laughs> so I hope you're in for some fun. <laughs> 179. Okay, I might step it up next time. Let me get my angle a little lower, I think. It might be a little too high. I don't know why I can't figure out my angles anymore. Okay. That might be better. So I gotta get these tabs on. I forgot. <laughs> I thought I'd done this part already on this, but I guess I did not. I've been trying to go to sleep early and I feel like I don't get anything done. <laughs> I don't know why my last machines weren't squeaky like that. Maybe they were dirty already. I don't know. <laughs> Let's get this one up here. There's these little kids. They look adorable. Okay, so these little tabs. You can see a little bit better. Oh my gosh. Can't figure out what angle I want to do. Ooh, 150 stitches. <laughs> they just want to up their game. That's cool. That's cool. I'm into it. Let's see. I'm going to do a tab on this side. Tab over here. Ooh, let's do this with the rose gold over here. So it looks cute. They don't have to be even. They don't even have to be the same size. I think that is a good look still. Okay. Can add tabs to everything, so let's just skip a couple. And go let's put it on this one. Let's get the signature out of the way. These clips out of my way. Oh my gosh. Usually, I'm way more organized than this, but... Well, actually, not really. I'm just kidding. Sometimes I am. I really need to clean up my office is what I need to do. I need to do a five-hour clean-with-me live session. <laughs> clean up. Clean up. Let's see. Probably go through and glue those down later. But not right now. Let's do this tab right here. I think it's going to With all the gold foil, I'm into it. 
Hi, Eula. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the party. <laughs> the tab party. <laughs> okay. Then put this one over here. Wait, I think I just used that one. <clears throat> I do have different payouts. different things. I'm going to put some glitter on this one. I'm going to put it down here with this. Let's do that. Down here. Okay. And then this side, I think I'll do the same one. Okay, that is cute. Okay. I'll have to look into that. Where did you buy yours, April? Did you buy yours at Walmart or where did you buy it? Huh. I wonder why my Walmart was so weird about it. Like, they did not want to help me at all. Okay, we need a tab on here. Do this one. I'm just gonna pile it on top of here. Actually, let me slide it a little lower so it has some more stability. Yeah, I don't know. It was some warning that came up. And they did not want, they are like, no. I was like, what? I was really upset about it. But what can you do? I don't know. I should have done something about it, but I don't know. I was just like, I need a sewing machine. Like, But like I said, it's still valid till September. So I could call brother and see what happens. Maybe somebody will help me. Because I bought the warranty through through Walmart, you know, so they should be the ones honoring it. They just they didn't want to. Good morning, Tammy. Good morning. Okay, so here's this one. This is the... Yeah, that's the last one we gotta put tabs on. <laughs> oh no, where did this go? I guess it'll go here. Okay. We gotta get tabs on here. Maybe they didn't want to help because you weren't the only person that has problems with the same machine. Maybe it's a dud for everybody. Maybe. They come out with new ones every six months. I'm sure it's for a reason. Okay, and on this side... Like, I'm sure an actual professional person with sewing machines would be like, ugh, this machine is only $100. Like, ugh, get a better one. <laughs> That's basically what the, what the repair guy was like. I could show you around some new sewing machines. I'm like, ugh. 
but his stuff was like expensive. He was not Walmart. And I'm like, I don't know. Don't you get paid for repairing this stuff? Like, why wouldn't you just like help me? Okay. Anyway, so let's get this signature together now. Anyways. Okay. So I need, I need my oats. And by that, I mean this piece of chipboard. <laughs> by my oats. This is my oats right here. Okay, so let's get this together in the order that we want it and make sure that the pages are even. Give me one second. I have to freaking blow my nose. One second. It's like I feel the difference with the Flonase, but still, still not there. Okay, so we're back. And again, I use this uh, piece of chipboard here to kind of push all of my, all of the papers up against the spine right here. Make sure it's all tight up here. I'm, I just have allergies every day, all day. I don't know. I live in the desert, and it's windy, and I don't know. I've somehow evolved into my mom. My mom is, like, allergic to everything also, and now I'm just like her. I'm, like, allergic to everything, <laughs> smell-wise, anyways. I don't, not so much as, like, I like objects, like, I don't know, maybe. I don't know. Just really sensitive nose. And I like to put things some up, some down of the little stuff, kind of alternating because then it makes for a skinnier journal. I don't want it to be too chunky. Okay, so here that is. This is your chance to make sure that everything is straight and that nothing is upside down because that happens to me all the time. You gotta triple check and double check and quadruple check everything. Oh my gosh. This will be good right there. You have that right there. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> this down here, and this will be kind of up here. Okay, so there's my signature, and now on my fabric cover here, I already have it scored, and I also put a line down on the jacket here where I'm going to put my signature so I can physically see it on here. Got to make sure I have my clips nearby. I'm going to lay it down. Make sure it's centered with the other signature. As far as height, like up and down. Okay. Drop it like it's hot right there. Okay. <laughs> and I am going to put clips everywhere. Make sure it doesn't go out of place. Got my gigantic paper clips. They help me get the job done. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to use my my um, sewing machine, and it's going to be on the f no, stitch number one. And I'm using the width, the longest uh, length. I mean. So length of five and the width doesn't matter because it's a straight stitch. Okay. So here we go. Okay, we're going to drop it, get the needle in here. So it, oops, oops, it's not running. Why is it not? Because it's not on the actual paper. Duh. Okay. Get it on the paper. 
And then I go kind of slow, do a stitch, do back stitch, keep going. And I would suggest that you only do about 15 pages per signature. Sometimes I, you know, go up to 18, but I would not do more than 18, not at all. It is not recommended that you try and sew more than 18 pages. I've tried it. It just does not work as easily or as smoothly. You will get errors. I've done it. <laughs> Probably why I kill my sewing machines. But yeah, I don't suggest doing more than 18 pages uh, using this technique. And there you go. There's my signature sewed into the little jacket there. There we have it. We got our two signatures in this jacket right there. You can see it. That is how I get them in there. And um, yeah, paper thickness also. I don't use any cardstock in these signatures. Everything is printer paper. The thickest paper would be um, cardstock paper, but it's not it's not cardstock scrap of paper, but it is uh, thicker than printer paper. Book paper, thin writing paper, um, but nothing thick, nothing at all. All the thick stuff is saved for the edges. I wouldn't use cardstock in the signature, not at all. So there's two signatures right there sewn into the jacket. I am going to um, do the book, like glue it down to the book. <sighs> Let's do that now. I was going to wait until I got the other one done, but maybe some people want to see it now for this one. Let me go up a little bit higher for this part because i got to glue everything down. It might be a little bit of a mess. Oh, I need paper towels. So let me go grab a paper towel. Give me one second. I will be right back. I don't know about you guys, but it is cold today. It has been, like, warm. Well, actually, no, it was cold the last couple days. But it's supposed to be cold the rest of the week. Um. Okay, so I need glue. That's not enough glue in that one. I need my glue. And I also need this stuff. This stuff right here. It is the back of the heat and bond. So this is the plastic that the heat and bond peels off of. And what I like to do is I like to use it to like glue stuff on top of. For example, right here, when I want to get glue all on the edges, this is like so perfect to make sure it doesn't get all over my desk area. And then if you have baby wipes, you can wipe it down clean. I don't have baby wipes today, but I have paper towels and that'll dry, rub it off, kind of. At least it won't stick to your projects. Okay, so I have my glue, which I like to use Turbo Tacky Glue from Eileen's. That is my favorite. And I have been using this silicone brush that I got off Amazon to push the glue around. This is actually for like face masks, but it works totally awesome for this um, project. And if you guys want the link, here is the link for these brushes. Can you show close up of the spine for BB? Okay, the spine of this right here. I'll separate the two signatures so you get an idea. Maybe that's what you want to see. Here it is. Here's the two signatures separated on the cover. Just fabric. And then straight stitch down the two signatures into the cover. Okay. 
Here's the center. Okay, perfect. So I am going to add glue now. To I usually add glue to the half signature, half of the page. Um, it might be easier for you to do the whole thing, but for me, it's easier just to do the half. So, again, I'm working on this, like, shiny paper that is, I missed it. I'm sure I do use the same amount of pages in both signatures. I'm going to do another one right after this one. Stephanie, if you want to stick around, I have two of them to do, two books to do. Um, but do I use the same amount in, in both signatures? I try. I try and limit myself to about 15 to 18 pages per signature. So there's always that many per signature. I don't like make it a rule of like this one has to have 18 and so does this one. Sometimes they're a little off by just a tiny bit. <laughs> Not going to lie. But yeah. And I find this brush really, really helps me move the glue. Because I used to use these like... I have them right here. I used to use these little sponge brushes and even like actual brushes to do this, but they were not really, they were not really doing it for me. So now I have upgraded to the silicone sponge, uh, silicone brush and that works much better. One second, let me get my mouse out the way. I need a little bit more glue in the edges because these always tend to come off. I have to always retouch these before I send this off to the purchaser. And this way I can get the glue all the way out to the edge without, like I said, worrying about my work workspace getting messed up. Plus it's free because I, I, you know, it comes with the, it comes with the heat and bond. So it's good stuff. I like to reuse things like that. One time use plastics are bad people. <laughs> That includes your crafting. I just noticed I have two glues here on my table. <laughs> I don't know how I grabbed this other one. Let me put it away. It has less glue. Okay, so get this all the way up to the edge. I like to get these uh, strings glued down. So they're not on the outside. And okay, this glue dries pretty fast. So we better hurry up before it's like too late. Just a little bit more. Okay. <clears throat> Let me get this out the way because it has glue, wet glue on it and I'm not ready to dry it off for it yet. So let's see what side's going to be the front. I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's see, okay, this side, okay, yeah, this side. Okay. So now we glue this jacket, I'll call it inside cover jacket, <laughs> to the book spine here. That looks good. And I'll also take my bone knife and kind of get this part in here good. I can't do it with my fingers exactly. Then I also like to carve out the spine. Oh, I forgot. I need to clip these all together. One second. I forgot about this part. Because it kind of pulls on the spine a little bit. I forgot a page, of course. A couple pages, oh my gosh. <laughs> Big paper clip saves the day again. Okay. So we kind of got to carve out the spine here. As well as make sure that all this here makes contact. 
Okay, so now we can glue down the other side. So I will take the heat and bond, and I have another one, but I'll just keep reusing this one. And I just wipe off the glue. Like I said, with the baby wipe, this comes off clean. With the towel, it just dries off the glue so it doesn't get on your projects. Perfect surface to get glue on. I don't know. It's just perfect. Okay. So now, I will put this piece right here so it doesn't touch the papers. Because I still need to get glue here on the edge and everything. There's a lot of glue that needs to go down. This is uh, bed sheets, the pink fabric. Bed sheets, you guys. Isn't that awesome? Uh, looks like I missed the conversation about the sewing machine because someone tell me if it was fixable. It was not. No, I had to get a new sewing machine. I forgot to put glue in the in the spine right there. I should have, but I didn't. Oh, well. I'm trying to get glue here on the spine. All the glue over here possible. Just let it drip. I can use less glue now because it, my brush doesn't absorb it. So isn't that great? Isn't that special? Okay, so I got my brush here. <laughs> wow. Is that, are you trying to, are you coming for me, April? Do you want to fight, April? Are you calling me, why are you calling me names, April? <laughs> Oh, 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 I just saw what you spilled. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me. Hi, Nana's cooking. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I'm being called, I'm being bullied over here by my own moderator. <laughs> I'm being attacked. <laughs> Okay, let's get the glue over here. <laughs> okay, I'm getting all this glue. I usually have to come in and touch up the, the very edges. It happens. But yeah, I'll do that later. When I know where it needs to be touched up. Okay, so there's all the glue. I am all about this silicone sponge. Not, it's not even a sponge, it's a silicone brush. All about it. Okay. Now we get this. Get this on this side now. Of course, you want to try and get it even. Okay, now. Get my bone knife out. Carve in the spine. Make sure this is nice and flat right here. Carve in the spine. The spine will stick better on this one because it actually had glue on the spine. But yeah. Try to get too much glue, but it happens sometimes. Okay, right here on the edges, make sure you try and get that down. Okay, and there is our signatures on the spine. Now, what I need to do is I need some paper clips, some little paper clips. <laughs> Let me grab those. Here they are. And what I find is that um, what comes off is this part right here. So what I like to do is I like to put paper clips. This, I don't know if this, this might be too thick. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. I put a couple paper clips right here. Because this, the signatures are right here, it kind of lifts up. 
And I have found that it lifts up specifically from these points right here. So I put these paper clips on there to hold that, that these spots down while it dries. Okay, right there. And right here. Okay, and then I'm going to have, I'm going to have the signature dry. And I'm going to have it dry almost like sitting up. Because, like I said, it tends to pull on the signature. Okay. Come on. Actually, let me get something to hold it already. Okay, that's better. Now I can work with it. Sorry if I'm not looking at the chat right now. I'm trying to get this situation situated. Okay. One more. And like I said, I'm going to have this book dry like this right here. Um, supported by something on both sides. So let me put this away one second. Okay, there we go. I put it away now. We got the next book to do, which will be the same same thing we just did. <laughs> Let me wipe these down. This is awesome because you used to have, you know, you used to need water to wipe off your brush. And I just dry, you know, take off the glue and that's it. And that's 10 reasons why I love this silicone brush. And right here, wipe these down and you can use these again and again and again. Like I said, you get some baby wipes and you can get all of the glue off. Otherwise, you can just do this and it just dries off. Just like that. You just keep reusing them and they're with your heat and bond. They're free. As long as you buy the heat and bond, it's free. Love it. <laughs> just put them away. Let me get some coffee. Okay, so next I have this other book, and I love this cover. We also did this live. Let me see what else everybody's saying. Uh, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I have, let's see. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Everybody's saying what they're working on. Okay, awesome. So, bye, Amelia. We'll see you next time, girl. Thanks for stopping by. So, first of all, I got all this glue on my hands. Like, no. Like, no, I don't think so. So give me one second. Oh my gosh, it's driving me crazy. Driving me crazy. Okay. Okay, I feel much better. Okay, so I have this book with this cover. Love the cover. It turned out to be a really cool book cover. So, I have the signatures um, with the fabric and the lace and the fabric and the lace that I'm going to be using on them. But I forgot to put the tabs, so I still have to put tabs on these. And then we'll do the whole um, thing with the signatures and the thing. Yeah, we'll do that. Make sure this isn't in the center. Is this centered? Not really. It's not really centered. Let's see. I guess we'll deal with that in a moment. <laughs> we gotta do the signature. We gotta do the tabs. Okay. And I still have a lot of journals to make. I have 
One, two, three, four, five, five journals that I still need to sew the signatures into. And then I still have I still have three junk journals that I need to pick out papers for. I was supposed to make another six. I don't know if that's even gonna happen, but I'm trying. <laughs> okay, you're on the signature part trying to decide what to do and what to use. Well, I like to make my signatures a nice mix of papers. Uh, between book paper, lined paper, my printed journal pages, ephemera, and things like pockets, envelopes, and bags. So here's like a junk journal page, a bag, graph paper, lined paper, printed ephemera on the back of scrapbook paper so it gives it a look. Here's some coffee dyed scrapbook paper. Not everything's coffee dyed just because I don't have time. <laughs> Some book paper, line journal paper, book paper. Here's a popcorn bag, scrapbook paper, book paper. And again, um, one of the uh, line journal papers that I printed out on the back of scrapbook paper, ephemera, just printed design paper. On, and this is on uh, craft paper, so it feels different than printer paper. Some ledger paper. So it's a good little mix, you know? Good little mix. Okay, so let's add some tabs because I love tabs. <laughs> because tabs are great. So i got to cut some. Okay. Gotta have enough tabs. Okay, that should be enough for one signature, I guess. I put the tabs on the small pages of the signatures, not on bags, but on like, let's say, let's put it on this lined paper right here. Yeah, don't overthink it, Stephanie. <laughs> you got a nice mix of papers. Just put them all down and kind of take one from each pile. But don't worry about it. Okay, so I'm going to use zigzag stitch again. Pretty wide and pretty long. Okay, here we go. Okay, so there's that tab. I'm trying not to cut the strings too short, but oh, they get on my nerves. But I know people like the look. <laughs> right, and then this other side. I gotta do something on this other side too. Let's do that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry about it being perfect. It's okay. Let me get down here. Bye, Happy Maker. See you next time. See you next time. Let me get into it right here. Let me get into the situation <laughs> that we're in. With all these tabs. Okay, tab, tab, tab. Perfect. Tabs goes on that one. Skip that one. Let's put it on this book paper. Let's put this tab up here. Okay. I am still stuffy and kind of like allergies but I do I do feel my nose is better I mean <laughs> this is pretty still pretty bad but it's still better <laughs> than what I was and so okay I'll say it's an improvement I'll say it let's get this part in here
How is Boo Boo? He is good. He is somewhere looking out the window, probably. Wishing I would open the door, but it's so cold. <laughs> He's out there running around. He was asking me to play with him up until when I went live, so that's good. But he might hear me and want to play again. <laughs> okay, here's another page that I need to tab. Thank you for asking, Aaron. He's around somewhere doing his little thing. Isn't he? I love that little boy. My husband took a nap after he got home off work. And um, he... My husband just fell asleep on the couch. And my little cat, like, slept with him for a whole hour on his lap. He was so cute. Just kept him company. The cutest little boy. <laughs> He's too cute. Like, as soon as he hears that you're up, oh my god, he'll drag his toy over. <laughs> as soon as he hear that, he, as soon as he hears that you're moving around, <laughs> he's like a real boy. <laughs> he's like a real little boy. I didn't, but I have so many pictures of them. <laughs> I have so many pictures of that cat. I post them mostly on my, um, I don't even post them on my Instagram. I post them mostly on my, um, Instagram stories. <laughs> like I have some stories of, of him from 2016 on there. He was so little. I got him when he was four months old. He was four months old when we got him. He was so cute. He still is, of course. <laughs> Of course. Okay. Not too bad out. I might have snapped a picture if my couch wasn't full of stuff. <laughs> my couch is clean. I might have taken a picture. But here we are. <laughs> Okay, let's get this right here. Okay, this tab will go right there. I printed and fussy cut all the digitals that I printed yesterday. I bought heat and bond and really did iron from the and a really old iron from the Goodwill. Ooh, that sounds like fun, Laura. You're on it. You're on it. It's fun getting all the all the stuff together too. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, yeah, that's the last one on this signature. Good. Good, good, good. Let's go to the next signature. I'll fix it up later. Okay, next signature. Let's get a couple more of these out so I can make more tabs. No, I have some that are folded. Come on. These tabs are simple to do, but it, it wasn't easy to fold them in half, though. <laughs> that was a little hard. Okay, I don't think I'll need more than this. Okay. <sighs> That's always the hardest part, cleaning off the desk. Because I always do my YouTube shows, I have one, like, dedicated desk for crafting when I go live. So I'm lucky that way because the rest of my desks are a mess. <laughs> but I have to keep this one clean. <laughs> okay, here's the next one. I 
tomorrow we'll be back to some more signatures. Yay! Yay, before we get to um, decorating. Okay, the saga continues. We're on a never-ending quest to make junk journals. <laughs> never-ending quest. Here's this one. Hi, Robin. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Let's do the tab on the beige paper. Okay, let's do a little bit of color here. A little pop of color. Right there. Uh -huh. I got a new one, Robin. <laughs> I oh, I got it fixed. All right. <laughs> I cut and I got. I just went to exchange it. I couldn't fix it. I didn't see anything that I was doing wrong, and I re-threaded everything, used a new bobbin, used a new thread. There was nothing visibly wrong. But that's what warranties are for. <laughs> Good thing for warranties. that this one needs a tab. I am just putting a tab on everything. I'm going to miss this book. I'm going to have to order it again. It's called Breakfast for Lovers. It was such a weird book. Breakfast for Lovers. And it had like awesome clip art. Like vintage clip art that they like put together as a collage. And it has like weird recipes. Like this one's called Pink Gin Quiche Extraordinaire Manhattan Affair. I don't know. So weird, but it's cute. The images are really cute. I'll have to buy another one. Brunch. It was either breakfast or brunch for lovers. I think it was breakfast for lovers. <laughs> Anyone else drink your coffee? I'm drinking coffee, but it's cold. I guess it's been here for like an hour now. <laughs> it might as well be iced coffee right now. I got my heater on. It is cold today. I am not playing. It's only going to be like 60 degrees today, but tomorrow it's supposed to be like 80. <laughs> I don't understand it, but that's how it is. And then it's supposed to be like 90 degrees the rest of the week. I don't know. But right now I got the heater <laughs> And I had it on last night too It was really cold last night Okay, so we got this tab and Let's get this tab here Yep, I got the heater on It's cold, it's cold Let's get this other one. Some butterflies on it. Butterflies. Okay. Let me see how my pages are. I forgot. Okay, yeah, that's the way to go. Okay. 
Uh, I don't want a tab on there. That'd be silly. Okay, let's put a tab on here. Hi, Patricia. Good morning. 62 degrees here. Yeah, it's supposed to be 62 degrees here too, but that's cold for me. <laughs> that is freezing. <laughs> Below 75, and I'm like way too cold. Laura says she's eating breakfast with her dog, scrambled eggs, corned beef, hash, avocado, tortillas, and tea. The dog is having dry food, wet food, scrambled. Wow, your dog had a better breakfast than me. <laughs> Spoiled. I, it rained yesterday. Yeah, it did. It did. It rained. It rained. In the late evening, it rained. But I moved all my plants out the way. I was like, whew. I don't know if it's supposed to rain today. I haven't looked outside. But it's cold. It's really cold. I actually have to water my plants today. You're okay at least as long as it's in the upper 40s? Girl, no. No. <laughs> if it hits below 70, uh, <laughs> no. If it hits below 75, I'm cold. Let's just say that. <laughs> Let's just say that. Okay, so we got the signatures done with the tabs. Yep. So, let's get my oats. Where did I put my oats? Hey there. Got my oats out. Got my coffee. One second. Okay, feels good. And then let's start with these pages, making sure that they are nice and up, up against the spine. And I also like to make sure that they're even on this chipboard so that way I know that they're going to be all centered and nice. Small pages I like to put some up high and then some down low. So that one will be up high. Right now I move this chipboard piece. <laughs> this one will be down low because the other one is up high. This will be centered. Oh, wait. Let me see. What size is this? Is this the size of this? Okay, it's the size of it. Okay, okay. Going back, going back. Just wanted to make sure, because usually I'll cut the chipboard to the size of the cover, but I don't have time. I don't have time. <laughs> Here we go. This one will be down here. Arizona. It's supposed to rain over there in Arizona too. Arizona has been having some weird weather, man. Didn't y'all have snow like two weeks ago? <laughs> and then it was like 90 degrees or something. <laughs> One second, I gotta blow my nose. Okay, anyways. <laughs> anyways. Make sure my volume is back, I forgot. Oh my god, okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. This one. Uh, the other one was kind of a pie, so we'll do this a little bit down low. Okay. You just don't want to have everything concentrated in the center because then you add your decorations and then everything 
gets really chunky and you can't close your book. So I like to alternate pages, the little ones up high, down low, and then also my decorations, I'll do something up here and then something down here. So it's not, it kind of evens out. down low and we got the last one okay so we are good on our signatures push it up against the spine flatten it out like that and then I need to get my clips and I have another clip here my gigantic paper clips. Okay, so now we have the jacket here, which is the jacket of the of the book cover. Whatever. I don't know what this is called. <laughs> it's not a name for it specifically. Okay, so yeah, that's the center of it then. Okay, so then. That's the center. I like to get out the dirtiest scoreboard you can find. <laughs> get out the dirtiest scoreboard you can find. And what I like to do is I like to score. So this is exactly like just a little bit over 12 inches long. Just like a fraction over it. So then I like to use the bone knife here to put it, uh, make a line a quarter inch to the right and a quarter inch to the left of that center fold. Make the crease and then because it's paper, it just kind of cuts right through. And there, like I said, I have the um, score line a uh, quarter inch to the right. And now we're going to make a score a quarter inch to the left also. <sighs> I can't see it on here very well, so let's do it on here. Okay. And a quarter inch to the left. Didn't seem quite even. Ugh. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. I'm not, I don't know, other people might have to like have these perfectly even, but I'm not too crazy on that so what I do like to do is make tiny marks here with pencil so I can see where it's going one second I gotta sneeze oh my gosh Sorry, I just had a sneezing fit. Like, jeez. Okay. So, there's one signature, one line. Now this other one. So we can visibly see where I'm going to put the signatures. Okay. So there, that's kind of a messed up line. But there you can kind of see where I'm going to put the signatures. That's where I have scored them. And that's where they're going to go. Uh... Your puppies are sick. I'm sorry, Patricia. That's not good. Oh, that's always so stressful. Um, I'm sorry you have to go through that. It's never easy when a family member is sick. Not at all.
Okay. That's good. Let me get one more paper clip. I have a bunch of these. <laughs> I ordered a 40 pack, apparently. I was going to use them for something else, but I didn't end up using them for that. So here they are. <laughs> didn't know they worked good for this, but now I do. Okay, so now we need to sew the signature on. So let's do that. Again, I'm going to put my stitch on the straight stitch, number one. And there's not, the only difference I see between stitch zero, zero and stitch one is that stitch zero, zero is a straight stitch to the left and stitch one is a straight stitch in the middle. I don't know. Anyway, so I put it to the longest length, and the width doesn't matter because it's a straight stitch. And here we go. We got it all nice and clipped here to the cover. We're going to get on the paper itself. Make sure it, the make sure that this needle goes through the actual uh, paper. And you want to do at least one back stitch before continuing on. And like I said before, I only do a max of about 15 to 18 pages per signature. I do not try and push it over 18. I have done it in the past. <laughs> I've done it in the past, but I just learned from my mistakes. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I wouldn't do it no more. Okay, so there we go. That is our signature in the cover. One of them anyways. I still got one more to do. Ooh, I sewed it. Did I sew it in upside down? I did. Oh well, that's fine. Like, not the signature itself, but I sewed it in upside down was on the cover. I thought I had it the right way. But, you know what? That's fine. <laughs> Life goes on. There's worse things. There's worse things in life. Okay, so this is done. Now I need to clip this together because that's going to get annoying. So let's clip this together here. I can go off to the side for now. Now what I need to do is fix up the signature so that way all the papers are good. Again, I'm going to get my oats out. Okay, so I got my oats out, and I'm going to put my signatures the way I want them to be. Again, I kind of center it on this chipboard here. This goes up here. Start up. And then this little paper will go down. And the bag will be up a little high. That was up, so this book paper will go down. It's not really down, but it's still down. <laughs> this one will go up. This page will be down. This is going to be centered. Centered. And that's it. That is it. So now, 
I'm holding it where it needs to be. Just kind of moving it down, but you know what? We're going to deal with it. Gonna make sure it is even with this little mark that I made up here. Because the signature is going to pull it down a little bit. I don't know why it's doing that, actually. It never really does that. So that's really weird. But it's doing it. So we're going to deal with it. Okay, hang on. I forgot to clip these together. Where are my clips? I need more clips. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay, that's a little better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trying to get these pages even with the other ones. Okay, so I feel comfortable with them being here. More clips, because we love pick we love big paper clips around here. <laughs> we just do. Okay. Oh, these allergies are terrible right now. They're kicking my butt. They really are terrible this year. Okay. I don't know if this is going to be a problem. It's not like acting like normal. Okay. But I guess it's just how it is. I don't know. <clears throat> so we still got the sewing machine on straight stitch. And let's try and get this here. Get it in the paper, though. That's what we want to do. Let's do the back stitch. Okay. And I do mark the center so that way I know where to go when I'm sewing. Otherwise, it would be really hard to see. One back stitch. Okay. I'm telling you, this part, this sewing, this is really bad. <laughs> this whole sewing in the signature is always stressful, no matter what, um, no matter what method I use, whether it's pamphlet stitch, whether it's whatever kind of stitch, it's always nerve wracking. <laughs> Always. Always and forever nerve-wracking. Okay, so now we have our signatures on here. If you want to see them, here they are. The two signatures on the jacket, on the fabric jacket. Single line stitch, almost straight. It went a little off right there, but everywhere else it was actually where it was supposed to be, surprisingly. Surprisingly, to be honest with you. Okay, now, so what I want to do is I want to paper clip these together. Oops. <laughs> Attempt number two, paper clip these together. And then we're going to glue the spine onto the book cover. Okay, let me get some water because I'm thirsty. Okay. So here's the cover one more time. Let me get my sewing machine out the way because we're done with it for today. Well, at least for right now, anyways. 
notes. I still have a lot of things to do. Okay. So it's supposed to be even on here, right? <laughs> sometimes it's not even. I don't know why. But sometimes it's just not even. But I can still live with that. It's a little bit off. Let's see. Because I don't know what makes it off sometimes, but sometimes it's just off. I don't know. I try not to worry about it too much. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to get out my pieces of... You can't see it because it's white, but it's heat and bond. The back of heat and bond. And... I am also using Turbo Tacky Glue. To get glue all over here. Extra glue around the edges there. Dedicated glue for the edge there. Get the glue everywhere else. Okay, and my little silicone brush here. Let's make sure all these edges have real good amount of glue. A nice, nice glob of glue here on the edge. And everything else we can just brush back in. Get these strings here with glue. Okay, we need a little bit more glue here in the middle. Just a little bit. Okay, again, this glue dries really fast, so you don't want to play with it too, too much. Or for too long, I should say. And actually, before I forget, let's remember to put in a nice glob of glue here on the spine, because I do try and push the fabric onto here. And it does need a little bit of extra glue. So before I forget that part. Okay, so let's get the brush out the way. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Okay, right here. I can put it right there. <laughs> and let's get this page out the way. And then we have the cover. And... I guess it doesn't matter really what's in front of it. And place the fabric down. Try and move it around so it's kind of centered. Okay. So it is a little bit too far that way. Okay. So now we get our bone knife. Again, I'm getting in between the page and the spine to make sure that it gets in there. And now I'm digging out this part right here. Okay. Get all the edges here. Sorry about my nose. Ugh. It's a little bit better though, but <laughs> still, uh, still, still being a nose. Okay. So let's get this side here. And now we need to get glue all over here. So actually, never mind on that. Let's get the glue on here. 
Let's get this piece of heat and bomb cleaned up. I could just use another piece of heat and bomb, but it's better to clean it off. <laughs> okay, so we'll put this heat and bomb right here. And I'm trying to get this in shot while also being able to glue it down. We're getting this all over the place. It looks like mayo. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Got our silicone brush here. Yeah, they only have a small one also. Is it smaller than four ounces? Because mine is four ounces and that's the small one. And I have bought a lot of them. Let me tell you, I have like double the amount of money I've spent on glue this year. <laughs> Just because I've switched over to TurboTech. <laughs> but it's just such a good glue. I kind of don't mind paying a little bit extra. Because it dries really quickly. So it's like a lot of time it saves me, you know. Especially with these lives. Because I used to have to kind of sit there and kind of fan it out a little bit. But now I don't. I just directly stick it on. So it just saves me a lot of time. I am a fan. I don't know if you knew. <laughs> but yes, I am a fan of TurboTech. Okay. So now, let's glue this part down here. And now, Okay, let's get all this glue off of me. It wants to lean over, so. <laughs> one second, one second. <laughs> yeah, my nose is being a nose. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> it's doing its thing. <laughs> I have no say so. Okay, get everything in, get the spine carved, let's go down, okay, there we go, I can already see it lifting, where I tell you that it lifts, I can already see it lifting, so, let me get my paper clips and we'll finish this off. Woo! That's a lot of work, huh? That's a lot of work. And I still have oh, another two. I'm going to do another two journals tomorrow. And I'm going to probably do another two journals today. Um, I got to get their signatures in. Okay, right there. Another one. I put two on each side. The signature again, because this is where I find that they lift up, even in between the signatures, too. <coughs> so let's get this in here. Okay, look at all this glue off of me. Ah, oh, get off. <laughs> Get off of me. Maybe I might turn off the heater now. It feels a little warm. It feels a little warm. It is 9 o'clock now. The sun's out. It is warming up this room. That's good. Okay. Let's get this side here paper clipped. Ugh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, okay. Seems everybody just woke up. I just saw there's a lot of people. 
Maybe I should keep going. I do have another book. I'm telling you, I have other books I, I need to do. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Eh. <laughs> okay. There we go. But I don't really want to push my hands too much either. That is also true. Okay, so here we go. We have the signature nice and suspended up here. Get all this here. Now that turbo tacky glue is serious business though. I love it. Okay, so I gotta go put this away too so that it can dry. One second. So that's put away. So let's see. <laughs> Terry, thank you. <laughs> thank you for noticing. <laughs> Too kind of you to notice. <laughs> Let me see. This one I'm not going to sew any laces on. I'm just going to do um, tabs. So let me see. Is this even big enough for two signatures? One moment. Let me check this out with my other books. This one might only, yeah, be good for one. Yeah, I can only do one signature on here. So this, the, the spine is a little bit small for two signatures. So I might have to cut these out, half these out. Okay, so let me get the page. Let me get this over here and get some water. There's a lot of people here, so I don't wanna go yet. I don't wanna go if y'all are here. <laughs> but I wanna put some tabs on here. So here's another one we got to get done. So, let's see. get my clips put away. So I have this signature here, and it's too many pages. So I'm going to uh, put it into the categories that I have my pages in, which is lined paper right here, as you can see, printed ephemera, lined paper. We got scrapbook paper, ephemera, pages, I mean, bags, ephemera, book paper. Yeah, this is way too many pages. <laughs> scrapbook paper, journaling paper that I printed out. Um, scrapbook paper, book paper, way too many. This one, let me see if I made this one a signature. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I might have already put a signature together here. <laughs> There's twelve. I want to put a couple more pages. Here's 13. And let's see. One more. I mean, two more. Here is. I'll go with book paper. Getting the signature together. So I think one more. Let me see how many pages are in here now. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One more. Fifteen is with this one. Okay, they're a little all uneven, but that's cool. I'm okay with that. <laughs> those other pages away. 
Now I need to do some tabs on here because that's just what I like to do, tabs. Yeah, Erin, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, I am here. <laughs> well, I did throw it. I threw it back in the face of Walmart and I said, give me a new machine. <laughs> Hang on, I got to text. Let me check. Let me just check. I normally don't look at my phone. Of course you did. Okay, so it was nothing. <laughs> it was nothing. Let me get all these tabs out here that I could do. I don't know how many I'm going to need, but let's make this many. Down the middle. So these are about two inch tabs they turn into because this is a four inch. Four inch scraps is what I used. So half of that is two inch, I believe. <laughs> if my math is correct. Okay. I do like going live in the mornings. I don't mind it. Like I said, I just need to go back to being a morning person. I used to be. I used to be when I had to be. <laughs> okay, so we are at my sewing machine again. I'm going to do these tabs. And I do these tabs uh, with a number four stitch with a number two length and a number seven width. So it's the widest width possible for the zigzag stitch. Because I like the look. Let's, let's put this here. Oh, I forgot. I put it on the small ones. That's the big ones, Daisy. Duh. Even though for this one, it would kind of go. So I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyways. Okay, so here's what we're doing. We're sewing on some tabs here. Okay, next tab on the other side, right here, okay. Okay, right there. You love now. I love my naps too. I usually go take a nap after I go live. <laughs> Cause usually like my husband will wake up at five o'clock in the morning. And so I wake up at five o'clock in the morning. And I'm not supposed to wake up till six in the morning. But he wakes me up because he'll turn on the light. <laughs> so I end up waking up at five in the morning. And then after the live, I'm like ready for a nap. <laughs> Perfect time to go back to bed. <laughs> This one over here. Squeaky, squeaky machine, though. <laughs> On my poster board, it's squeaky. Okay. Naps are awesome. I'm telling you, sometimes people be like, oh, I'm taking an energy drink. Like, why are you taking an energy drink? Like, take a nap. Like... <laughs> If you're sleepy, why are you trying to fight it? Just take a freaking nap. My grandma finds it very odd that I take naps. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing to her. She doesn't understand me. <laughs> but you guys understand me. That's what I love. Okay, one second. Okay, so like I'm not sneezing as much, but my nose is still, <laughs> still uh, doing whatever it wants to do. That's tissue glued onto my glue dab. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Move it. Okay, let me go right there. Right there. Okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, he goes to work. Sometimes he'll go. Lately, he's been going to work at 6 o'clock in the morning. So he's up at 5, ready to go. Sometimes he's up earlier than that. Okay. Oh, that netty popped. Yeah, the netty popped. <laughs> I should. I'll try anything right now. <laughs> I've tried a lot of things suggested. <laughs> I'll try that too. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not kidding. I will try it. <laughs> it feels so weird. I've done it before. It just feels so, whoops. It feels so funky. Yeah, that's why I was telling everybody, like, I really want to go to the doctor so I can, you know, get checked out because I think it's, it's, it's going to be more than just take these allergy pills. I'm pretty sure I have like a sinus situation going on. <laughs> it's been so long since I've had insurance and been able to go to the doctor. So I'm kind of excited to go. <laughs> kind of excited to uh, enjoy that luxury in life again. Well, actually, no, you put it in your, yeah, it is in your nose. It feels so funky. It feels, so, it, no, doesn't it go through your no, your ear? It goes through your ear, not your nose. It's even worse. <laughs> it's even worse. By the way, it was too early for you. Yeah, it's, it's going to be even, yeah, it's, it's a little early. <laughs> It's a little early. <laughs> okay, so let's do this part right here. Last one. Not your ear. I thought it was in your ear. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Maybe. Possibly. Squeaky squeak squeakums. Okay. So squeaky. I think it's because I've had my other sewing machines on the floor, so they got like dirty on the feet and they would slide better. <laughs> I think that's why. Let's do this part right here. You put it in your nostril and it washes it out the other nostril. Ugh. I'll do it. I've done it before. I remember I didn't like it. <laughs> I've done it before. But I didn't do it like, you know, constantly. Just like once. <laughs> okay, so here we got the signature dub. Okay, so let's get it prepared. Okay, so where's my oats? i got to feel my oats. Here's my oats right here. And already I have the page down the middle. I also have a line down the middle. Yeah, I need to do that. I need to flush whatever I got going on out. Flush it out. It didn't go well. Oddly enough, I have no problem sticking my finger in my eye. Ah, I can't do that. The I wear glasses. It's just because I can't do finger in my eye. I can't do it. It freaks me out too much, too much. Hi, happy Scrappy. Welcome. Thank you for joining us for a few. Good to see you. Okay, let's do this paper down low a little bit. And this one has rounded corners. That's why I'm not putting lace because what would be the point of the rounded corners? <laughs> if I add lace, there's no point. Okay, let's put 
this bag down. This paper will be kind of centered. This will be up. There's this page. And there's the last page. Okay, one moment. Okay. Okay. So I need my clips. I don't know how many clips I need, but I need clips. Okay, so. Here's my signature. And let's get everything clipped together. Okay. Here is the jacket that the signature is going to sit in. In the very middle. Put lace down the middle of this, this one so it's a little harder to tell where the middle is. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say that's the middle. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Okay. Let's get this sewn up. I'm going to use a straight stitch with the longest length. And let's get this in here. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Again, you want to make sure that your needle actually lands in the paper right there. So it's in there. I'm going to hit the back stitch. Okay, let's get going. Here at the very end, can I hit that back stitch again? Okay, so that is our signature in there. Pretty good, looks pretty good. Okay, now signatures in the middle there it has some nice lace on both sides. We're going to clip this together. Okay, and now we need to glue this into its jacket. Whatever you want to call this. Let's see if I can cut some of this out here. This is made from an old uh, book that I covered in fabric and you can check that all out on my past videos all about covers okay so this is the jacket of where it's gonna go in right there let's get down here so we are going to glue the cover so let's get glue all over this cover. This one went pretty easy, actually. That's good. <laughs> and I don't have another paper towel. One moment. Oh, my gosh. Why me? Okay, I was only planning on doing those other ones, so I didn't bring the paper towel. <laughs> so let's wipe off this glue that was on there. 
from the last time. Again, if you get a baby wipe, ooh, I got glue everywhere. If you get a baby wipe, you can um, get everything really, really off. But in my case, I just dried everything. Okay, so in this case, I can put glue on the whole cover. Oh yeah, this is the back of the heat and bond of the heat, what the heat and bond comes in. So, 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 let's get all this glue on here. Uh, the glue all over the cover. And this is TurboTacky glue, if anybody doesn't know. That's the glue I've been obsessed with lately. And I like to spread it out with this. It's a face... <laughs> It's a face silicone mask. Uh, sorry, a, a, a face mask silicone brush. It's not even technically a brush. There's no bristles. Let's get all these strings here. All these strings cut up. Okay, and it just glides the glue around. I love it. I really love it. Get the glue here on the very edges. Now, I could put glue on the whole cover. Do I want to do that? No, because then I get it all over my hands. And ugh. One second. Let's get this out of the way. Let's get the cover. What side do you want to be up front? I guess that side. The pages go this way. Okay, so this is the front. Let's get this kind of nice and even here. Let's make sure that's where we want it to be. It's to be a little bit more this way. Okay, that's good. So let's get this glue down here. I'm going to get the glue on the spine here. As well as right next to the page and all the little edges here. Make sure all of this is nice and glued down. Squeeze out any excess glue. Okay. This way. I probably could have done two signatures, but I'm going to decorate it a lot, I think. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, get that on there. I get the piece of heat and bond here. If you can't see it because it's white. Just getting all the glue on here. Lots of glue. Still less than what I used to use because I used to use a brush. I used to basically absorb <laughs> like half the glue I would put down. So that kind of sucked. <laughs> but I fixed it, I fixed it. Glue here. Glue here. All this glue. Okay. Over over here, where it's supposed to be. Get the pages lifted because sometimes they drag it down a little bit. Let me move it from where it's supposed to be, but it's supposed to be right there. Okay. Get something to hold it here. 
while I work on it on this side. Yeah, I probably could have definitely used another <laughs> signature, but oh well. Oh well, this is the choice we have made. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Okay, now we try and carve out the spine right here a little bit. Get all the glue settled right next to the signature because that lifts up a little bit. Get all the edges glued down. And that is it for this signature for this book. We'll have to get it decorated really nicely. Okay, you guys, I am off for now. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. We got three junk journals done. That's awesome. And uh, we will be here tomorrow. So uh, can I share the link for the brush again? No problem. Let me get that over. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow at 7 a.m. We will be here hanging out, doing our thing, probably putting together um, another, another junk journal. So I will see you guys tomorrow at 7 a.m. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I had a lot of fun. Abril, Felicia was here. Eula, thank you guys so much. Uh, sorry that I didn't look up. I didn't see that um, people were doing things. So thank you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, thank you, Patricia. Thank you to April. Peace out, you guys. Have a good day.